So today we're bringing you what may be the world's most popular fig. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here at the beginning of July in 2022. If you guys have been following us along, you know that we have over 170 fruiting trees, vines and shrubs here on this newly establishing desert farm. And one of the things we love growing is figs. Now we've done several videos on figs before. In fact, we have a playlist dedicated to figs. I'm gonna go ahead and link that for you here. So take a peek at that where we've reviewed several different fig varieties. However, we have not to date had a black mission fig. And that's what we're talking about today. The tree you see behind me here has been in the ground for two years. We purchased this tree from Reed at RSI Growers in Glendale, Arizona. But I can tell you, they're very, very easy to find. Most times you'd find them here in town in the fall and in the spring, which is the best time to plant them. And you'll see them at Home Depot, Lowe's, you name the nursery, it probably has one of these. Now, one of the things we do with these trees is we do prune them back very heavily. In fact, we did a video this past winter where we showed you just how heavily we prune these trees to the ground. And now you can see how much it's grown back from that heavy pruning. Now, of course, growing back is one thing, but production is another. And that's definitely something we're finally seeing on this young tree. So one of the biggest challenges when it comes to figs is protecting them from birds. Now, one of the things that we found is very effective at keeping the birds away, at least, is organza bags. Now, it's very easy to utilize these bags. All you do is basically just slide it up all the way onto the fig, and then you cinch the bag onto the stem side where it meets the branch in order to keep those pesky birds out. So when you see the blue bags all over the tree here, that's exactly what we've done, is we've come back right as they start to turn color. We go ahead and cover them with the organza bag, and after a few days, you have a fully ripe fig that's ready to harvest. So I harvested two figs here, and they're slightly different as far as overall ripeness. Neither one of these figs has any of the sap that's coming from the stem side. That's really important because then you know you have a ripe fig. If you're getting a lot of sap coming out of there, you're going to have some bitterness, especially up towards the stem end of the fruit. So not having that is really a good sign. Second thing you're looking for is some wrinkling of the skin. Now, the first one that I have here is very wrinkly. So I would imagine that this one fully ripe is gonna be just a little bit more on the dry side. And then the second one that I have is much more plump at the top and not quite as wrinkly. Still very, very soft. So I'm thinking that this particular fig might be a little bit more juicy as opposed to dry. Now, I also wanna point out that both of these have a closed eye, at least semi-closed eye. So that is the very end of the fig. We notice on some of our varieties like the brown turkey, having that open eye is a challenge because you get all kinds of nasty in there. <laughs> Ants in particular, but all kinds of things go on with that open eye. I'm gonna go ahead and open up each one of these figs. I'll show you how to do that. And then of course, we need to try these. The first one I'm gonna open up here is going to be the fig that's slightly overripe. All I'm gonna do is pinch so the eye starts to split just like that. And then I'm gonna pull this open so it splits right in half, just like that. And you can see just how much wonderful sugar is built up in there. A little bit dry at the eye end, but a beautiful looking fig. This is that second fig that's just about perfectly ripe. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just pinching the fig, have it split there in the middle, just like that. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful, beautiful fig. Perfectly ripe. 
So I have both of our figs opened up for you and you can see they look very, very similar. Definitely a lot more sugar in this slightly overripe fruit. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this one first. This one, in my opinion, is perfectly ripe. It's gonna have a little bit more juice, should still be nice and sugary, um, but maybe not quite as dry. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm having a moment because that is really good. <laughs> that is a fantastic fig, you guys. So I wanna go ahead and uh, describe the taste of that as best I can. So if you've never had a fig before, it doesn't taste anything like Fig Newtons. <laughs> Maybe very, very slightly, but one of the thing about, things about a Black Mission fig is it's very much a figgy fig. Some figs like the Panache fig or the Violet de Bardot have kind of a fruity, almost tangy flavor to it. This is very much a figgy fig, so it has a, a strong fig flavor. Guys, it's extremely sweet. It has the consistency of a banana, maybe a slightly overripe banana, maybe uh, mixed with honey. So banana and honey uh, would be a good example, at least that I could give you, as far as the flavor of that. Much more so on the honey side than say a brown turkey or a blackjack fig which are also figgy figs. Go ahead and try this uh, fig that's slightly overripe. Definitely a little drier. The fig flavor is uh, more, more condensed, I would say, which makes sense because you start drying out just a bit. You can see where it almost is kind of more like a dry fig. Not as much moisture, so it tastes very good. I mean, it tastes a lot like that first one but I like the ripeness on that first one that I was describing, just a little more plumpness. But man, boy, those are fantastic. Took a quick harvest off of this young tree. We've got about a dozen beautiful Black Mission figs here to choose from. Lori and I haven't had breakfast yet this morning, so I think I know what we're having. But you can see just a beautiful, productive, figgy fig for us here in Arizona and anywhere else where you can effectively grow figs. I think having a Black Mission fig is kind of the gold standard and something that if nothing else you should at least start with. It's an incredible tasting fig, very, very easy to grow and definitely should be on your list. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here as we establish this new farm in the Arizona desert and would love to see you on a regular basis. Any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section down below and our Amazon shop will leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with a link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. And usually within a couple days, you have a fully ripe peach. So let's go ahead and take a, it's a fig. <laughs> My mind is still on peaches. <laughs> Fantastic. It has, I'm eating the stem. Mm, maybe not. <laughs>